I might have butthole for no longer paying for my homeless sister and her kid's hotel room after she insulted me. Posted by Mountain Drive Minus 9702. Am I the butthole? A 23-year-old female have a sister who's 33. We get along for the most part, but after a huge argument I stop paying for her hotel this week and she only has a few days until her checkout. So what led to the argument was that she insulted my parenting and said I am a bad mom. We have two totally different experiences with motherhood. I had my first son at 15 and my second at 18. Their father and I split up when we were 18 and ever since we have had an equal co-parenting relationship. We both have our own places and I keep the boys for three weeks and then he takes them for three weeks. Because of this, it allows us to be active parents and also live our lives like anyone else our age. During my three weeks I have the ability to go out of town, go on vacation, party and my ex does the same. He's such an amazing father and we're flexible with the schedule if either of us wants more slash less time. My sister on the other hand has no help. Her fiancé left her while she was pregnant and she's been raising her three kids alone since. He does not see them or call and only pays $80 in child support a month. My sister struggles with childcare and ended up losing her apartment. She's been in an extended stay hotel since August and I've been paying since my parents cannot afford it. They live in a studio themselves so they have no space for her and the kids. We live in a high cost of living city, and if it wasn't for my boyfriend being willing to cover my section of the rent these past few months, I would not be able to afford it. The other day my sister calls me and asks me if I can come over to watch her kids so she can go to a job interview. I went over to the hotel at noon and she left at 2. I had plans to go out with my boyfriend at 7 and let her know. She said she'd be back soon, but once it hit 6 I started calling her and she didn't answer. At midnight she came stumbling and drunk and we got into a huge fight. I was pissed she made me miss my plans and she did not have to lie about the job interview if she needed a babysitter to go get drunk. She started yelling at me saying that I don't even see my kids for half the year so to shut up about her needing a babysitter one night and that she's at home every single day with no breaks being a real mom while I go out living life like I have no responsibilities. And that I'm a horrible mom because I am okay with being apart from my kids and she would never. I told her it's not her choice to be around them 24 slash 7, their father does not want them and it's not my fault I'd choose a better man and she did. She kicked me out and told the front desk to trespass me, I changed my card info so the next payment would not go through the next day. My parents are calling me a huge butthole and threatening to cut me off if I stop paying for her room. That she never gets free time like I do so to understand she's jealous not being rude. They said to pay for another week and they'll pay me back after selling some things and I refused. Am I the butthole? Here is my AI opinion. You are not a butthole, your sister is being unreasonable and you have every right to prioritize your own life and plans. It's understandable that you would be upset with her for making you miss your plans and then coming back drunk and yelling at you. Your parents should not be putting pressure on you to continue paying for your sister's hotel room, especially if she is not being responsible with her own time and actions. It's important to prioritize your own needs and well-being, and it's okay to say no to things that are not good for you or your family. Please let me know what you think about this story and if you have any other questions or concerns. Do you think it's fair for the sister to expect the OP to babysit her children without notice, especially when the OP had plans with her boyfriend? Is it reasonable for the sister to make assumptions about the OP's parenting style and judge her based on her own experiences as a mother? A comment from Bus Alternative 1827. Info what exactly would your parents be cutting you off from? OP answers. Their lives. To your listener, if you want more of this content, please consider subscribing. It will really help the channel grow. Thank you for your consideration. Am I the butthole for telling my parents they better start saving for my sister's long-term care because I won't take care of her when they're gone? Posted by Desperate Top 603 My parents have my sister 14-year-old female and me 17-year-old male. My sister is autistic. She's very verbal and has issues with social cues and generally isn't very easy to be around. She says pretty mean things to people and she's the worst to me. She does not have any kind of filter and I struggle to be around her. Sometimes I have to leave the table when we're having dinner or leave the house when she starts because I want to so badly explode on her. 
My parents always tell me I need to understand. It's the autism. She's learning. She's working with therapists on the behavior. They will tell me over and over to be understanding. On more than one occasion, my parents scolded me for walking away and I asked them directly if they would rather I tell her to F off. My parents said I shouldn't think that about my sister. I told them they don't even know the half of it. They were appalled by that. But I don't want to be called a dumb F or told I am ugly to have her laugh at me when I do badly at math. I have dyscalculiate to have her make fun of me because I was upset my boss was hospitalized and he was pretty sick for a while. She's mean to a lot of people to the point I don't even bring my friends around the house or her ever. But like I said, it's worse with me and it's all the time. The other side of things is my sister cannot be left unsupervised for long. She goes into her own world and will not eat or use the bathroom when needed. There were times she had extra tests done to see if anything else was going on. But nope. She also needed to be hospitalized before to help her with issues that came up as a result of her not using the bathroom and slash or eating. My sister will shut down regularly and it has put her in some dangerous situations. She will always need more help and won't ever be capable of living entirely on her own. My parents' plan was always for me to take care of my sister when they are no longer able or when they are gone. I didn't mind before. But now, now, I am not doing it. I do not have the patience to love her through all her crappy behavior. It was always there, but it gets worse the older she gets and I would not be a good fit. I could not just take it and I don't want to. I don't want to take care of her. I wish I didn't have to see her every day as it is. A week ago today, my parents were telling me I needed to learn to be more patient and understanding with my sister because I would take care of her one day and I told them they need to start saving for her future care because I won't do it anymore. I told them I will not deal with that every day for the rest of my life. I told them I want a family one day and I would not expose my kids to her. They were angry and told me she's my sister and I need to do better. The past week has been strained with them telling me I'm treating her worse right now than she ever is. Am I the butthole? Here is my AI opinion. You are not the butthole in this situation. Your parents are trying to guilt trip you into taking care of your sister who is a grown adult with autism and it's not fair to you. You have every right to set boundaries and prioritize your own needs and well-being. It's understandable that you don't want to be responsible for her care, especially since she has been consistently mean and hurtful towards you. Your parents need to understand that they cannot expect you to take on this responsibility without your consent and they should not be angry with you for setting boundaries. It might be helpful to have a conversation with them about what you are and are not willing to do for your sister and to discuss alternative options for her care. Additionally, it might be helpful to seek out therapy or support for yourself to process your feelings about this situation and to learn how to set healthy boundaries with your family. Do you think the OP is being unreasonable in their refusal to care for their sister in the future? How do you think the OP's parents should handle the situation, considering their daughter has autism and requires constant supervision? Mary Adam commented. As an autistic person, not the butthole. Autism is in the past to be mean. And you have no obligation to be in an environment where you are treated like that. Your health matters too. Theka 1968 commented. Not the butthole. When you are 18, get out, go to college or get a job in your own place. Your sister is not your responsibility. That is all for this video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day and hopefully I see you soon.